John, thanks so much for joining us today. Really appreciate you have, having you. Oh, gosh. Now I'm the one who screws up. <laughs> All right. Three, two, one. John, thanks so much for being here. Really appreciate you being with us today. Uh, let's talk about this new swing training tool, uh, training tool from Golf Forever. First of all, can you tell people what the tool is and what it's designed to do for golfers? Yeah, so um, this is something we're very excited about uh, here at Golf Forever. Our company is fairly young overall. We're a digital product predominantly, but we've created uh, what we're calling the physical manifestation of what Golf Forever is. And so you can see here, it's just kind of a, a crazy looking contraption. Uh, with a green ball on the end. And really what this is, is it's the first product that bridges the world of fitness and golf together. And so we have asymmetrical bar training when you take this little connector off here, and I'll show you in a little bit, um, but there's a swiveling eye bolt that moves very freely. You connect it to a carabiner and a cord. And so you can work out your body in, in ways to increase mobility, rotational power, um, injury prevention uh, with a tool that that really kind of supersedes just anything else out there. And, the, you know, we use bands in our program and, and, and cords in other ways. But when you put uh, loads in this way, it really is very effective. And so that's the, the training component of it. And then when you just attach the ball here, um, this is a weighted warm up club. So this we have at in, in we were very important to, to engineer this to a D3 swing weight. So it's about two and a half times heavier than your driver. Uh, to my knowledge, there's not many others, if any, that really market or, or promote the fact that this actually has the same dynamic feel as your driver. And so, um, you know, we view this as the 15th club in your bag. This is the first club that you, you grab when you get to the range, you warm up. Um, and you know, it, it's obviously a little bit uh, thicker and bigger than a golf club. If you can see here, we've got these rubber grips are a little bit softer. They're very nice to the touch, uh, softer than a regular grip. And then we've got these G5, G135, which are uh, training zone demarcations, which are for hand positions. Okay. And so when you're doing the asymmetrical bar training, you can um, basically move your hand positions which um, then ultimately move kind of uh, how hard you know, the tension is pretty much. And so we have this product um, and I mentioned the green ball with a D3 swing weight. We also have um, the gray ball here, which is heavier uh, for overloaded speed training. And so effectively we have uh, three uses in one with this and the whole you know, premise of why we created this and, and our brand at Golf Forever, we're, you know, doctor design, golf fitness and pain relief. And it's all about, um, you know, having a training aid that is uh, helping you and your body improve in the right way. There are a lot of training aids out there, Ryan, I'm, I'm sure you've, you know, either have some or, or seen them in the past that, uh, you know, they help your tempo, they help your speed, or they kind of get you in these crazy positions that maybe your body can't handle when you do it over and over again. And so um, all of this really is predicated on the mission of our brand, which is you know, safely helping people improve their golf games and longevity. And so um, this product here is really brought together by our content with our app. And so, um, yeah, I'll pause there. So does that, that kind of all make sense? It does. So it sounds like the trainer is a manifestation of some things maybe realized through developing and teaching people about golf through golf forever, the digital product. Is that, is that fair to say, or was all of this stuff going to be addressed anyhow, kind of concurrently, just maybe it comes a little bit after something that's digital, a little bit different manufacturing. Yeah, no, great, great question. So, um, so we really do feel like this is connected very closely to our digital product and we have, uh, you know, as you can see these training zone demarcations here, you've got the different uses. I mean, it's a fairly complex device. Now, inherently, if you saw this in a store or your club, you pick it up, you know, okay, I'm going to swing this and this is a weighted warm up club, but that's really, uh, just kind of almost the, the smallest use case for it. Um, the, the core driven training. Uh, and the content and the instruction that's behind it. So, so our app, we're a subscription golf fitness app, and we have videos that give you step-by-step -step instructions of how to increase your mobility, rotational power, strength, um, and, and injury prevention. And 
So we've created a whole series of content uh, around this trainer and how to use it. And um, I actually am here in my makeshift gym. So I'm gonna set up for a moment and you can see here, Ryan, that um, so there's a, a door anchor here with the cord driven, uh, cord driven component to it. And we've got uh, this cord here, it's attached to a carabiner. And you know, just some of the moves here that you know, if I were to just stand out here, obviously, you know, get in golf swing type moves. There's a lot of strength components here, you know, kind of that asymmetrical bar training component. And then um, this is really one of the staple moves, which any golfer can certainly understand is, is the impact position, right? And then, you know, really developing a lot of speed is, uh, is kind of the, the, the ultimate premise of, of, what this product is, is, you know, we're saying that this is actually the, the real and the safe way to develop speed. I feel like speed training has become a little bit of a thing here in the last couple of years, obviously watching professional golfers go after the ball at incredible speeds makes you kind of want to figure out how to maximize the potential that you still have as a, as an amateur golfer at whatever age you have. So I guess my question is, do folks, how do folks, get into speed training safely and do you find that people maybe jump in to some kind of program without maybe a full awareness of what their body can do and what they should be doing yeah no great great question and i think you've you've kind of nailed it with the lead-in is is um you know you take your 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 typical 55 year old golfer who uh is working too many hours behind a computer at the office um and you know, I, I'm, if you're anything like me, I, I work too many hours behind the computer in the office. And so it's a reset for everyone. It doesn't matter if you, uh, if you're working out a lot, if you don't work out at all, um, you need to train your body in the right way. And especially as we age, you know, it, it's really a, a premise and why Golf Forever has been so successful is because, you know, when you look at uh, Lexi Thompson, Brooks Kepka, and Rory and DJ and some of these, these other uh, top players that are training in a very intense way. That, that's not for everyone, right? I mean, these are finely tuned athletes at, at a very elite level. Most of us really just need some very basic stuff to help us loosen up to get our posture better, right? After sitting all day. And if you take to your question, a training aid that is, is overloaded and you say, all right, Ryan, now go ahead, swing it as fast as you can 20 times. And you just came from the office and you're, you know, trying to go play nine holes after work. You know, it, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to understand I'm probably going to hurt myself if I keep doing this. And, and so a lot of what, what we do and what we've tried to create with uh, both the, the Golf River Swing Trainer and the Golf River Program is step-by-step -step instruction and in, in learning you need to learn about your body and understand okay you know why am i stiff why why is the left side of my body hurting um and that's a lot of what we do in our program and why we start with a self-assessment that when you you join it's the first thing you do um you assess your performance and some exercises that then allows us to give you a, a personalized program that that you get every day that is uh, built for your body's needs and no one else's I find the interesting thing about speed training relating to the audience you just kind of talked about. People who are over 50, 55, casual golfers, they're not playing every day, probably behind a desk job type thing. Do they get more out of just better mobility, better understanding the mechanics of the golf swing that generate power and time versus just swinging harder? Oh, yeah. No, absolutely. I mean, you know, take a, take a McElroy, for example. Um, I mean, I, I personally love his golf swing. Every time they, they put a slow-mo or I see it on social media, I'm, I pause and watch it. I mean, it's a thing of art. Um, he's what, five foot seven, five foot eight. You know, he's, he's not a big guy, um, 150 pounds, probably soaking wet. And yet he's so strong and so mobile that he can get in these positions. And the key is really, um, you know, as you know, golf very well is, is being able to control the speed and control those positions. And so when you talk about mobility, um, not only is, is a lack of mobility and, and flexibility uh, a killer for golf swings, um, but when you can increase that 
right? And you get more turn in your backswing just by doing exercises to increase your mobility. You don't really have to do much anything else and you're going to notice 10 yards, 15 yards yeah. extra. And that's a lot of what we see with our membership um, is, you know, again, it's this very, very fundamental basic stuff that even just a couple times a week, you know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes a day. Now our, our, our program and we encourage full workouts, which are 40 to 45 minutes, but I mean, even just the, the, the bare minimum and you're going to notice a huge difference if you haven't been doing anything. For a, a golfer who's trying to maybe put together a fitness program, you, you mentioned kind of rec recognizing that 40, 45 minutes is, is probably ideal for just human beings to move every day. Yeah. Is, does there have to be a golf specific component to that? And, and what does that carve out look like for a golfer? Yeah, no, great question. Um, you know, a lot of the moves, uh, just rotation in general, they don't have to mimic the golf swing exactly. I mean, when you look at, Again, you know, I think social media is a, is in sometimes uh, a very good lesson. Just watching some of these players and and take a, a Justin Thomas for example. I mean, sometimes he'll post something on his social media that looks so basic, but yet he's sitting there on one leg. He's doing a very kind of almost miniature looking move, uh, but he's moving around in a rotational way that isn't exactly mimicking the golf swing, but it might be building you know strength or mobility in his hips. And it's also um, for anyone that hasn't tried stuff like that, you know, it, where it looks so easy, a lot of times it's the, it's the dead opposite of that. So really, you know, it, it, it is, again, just goes back to this very foundational, um, these basic movements that, that help you get more mobile and flexible in your golf swing and build strength in the right ways. And, and you know, we do certainly have some golf specific components um, to our program. And when you look at the golf river swing trainer, I mean, I just showed you the impact move and, and what we call the golfer's coil, which is just getting the bar over, uh, over your shoulders and, and turning back and through in a golf posture. Um, there's a lot of correlations that, that kind of, uh, are direct and indirect as well. And obviously we have this, the weighted swing component. That's something you can use just before, you know, on the range, just a couple of swings but when you're on the first tee, even will help you out. But is there a component of using the training with the band that you can do pre-round or that you should do pre-round that will maybe prime your body or just get it ready for golf? Yeah, no, um, absolutely. So we have a series of uh, pre-round warm-ups um, and, you know, workouts in general. And in our overall golf, uh, golf Forever program, we have over a thousand workout videos. And with the swing trainers we're launching, we're adding to that every week. And so we're going to launch with, um, about 50 workouts dedicated just for the swing trainer. Um, and some of those are, are with, uh, the cord attached that, you know, we've created something with the, um, you know, and I, I showed you over there with the cord attached with the, the door anchor, but it's also a carabiner that you can just attach around a golf cart. Um, you can attach to basically any fixed object that um, helps you do a lot of these moves. And again, you know, it's, it's it, as you'll see, you would see in the Golf Forever program, we have the workouts in a very sequential specific way that would help you warm up for your round. So for transportation purposes, what, what's the length of the product and, and does it easily fit into a golf bag or how, how do people kind of get that from point A to point B? Yeah, no, great question. Um, it's 44 and a half inches long. So, um, you know, just shorter than the, the modern day driver. And um, it's just, it's right in your golf bag. I mean, you can see this is, it's about, you know, uh, 1.3 inches thick. So it's a little bit thicker than your, uh, than your golf grip, but you know, you just go ahead and set it in your golf bag. And um, we do have a carry bag that you can fit everything with, with all the training components. Um, but, you know, I, I see a lot of the, the, the casual use cases of, you know, just keep it in your golf bag and, and, um, and then train with it at home. On kind of a personal level, what, what has it been like for you to be a part of this introduction of this training tool as someone who has been in golf media, who has talked to people about the mechanics of the golf swing, who has taught people how to play golf? Uh, what is it like to be on that end of it, seeing people experience the, the product? Yeah, um, it, it's been cool. You know, uh, I've, I've 
I've been hooked on this, this game in this industry my entire life. Um, you know, and, and from when I was a kid, I wanted to, you know, play the PGA tour. And, and while that, that never worked out, like it, it doesn't for most, um, the experiences I've had in, in all the different facets from, you know, being in golf media, as you mentioned, to coaching college golf, um, to now kind of going, uh, into this, this, this world of a startup with golf forever and, um, and launching a product from scratch that really is bridging worlds together and, and really truly creating its own niche has been um, very, very exciting in a way that, you know, personally, I, I feel like we're, we're doing something that hasn't been done in golf and that's hard to do. Um, you know, training aids are a dime a dozen and they're hard, they're hard to make it. You know, when you look at something like Orange Whip and Super Speed, they've had such great success. They're great products. Uh, ours has a, a pretty cool story to it because it's, um, it's legitimate and it's real. This is not a gimmick. I mean, this is something that, um, you know, there are multiple uses with it and it's kind of all you want out of it. If you want to train very hard and intensely with it, you can. If you want to just use it as a warm-up club, you can certainly do that as well. Obviously, Golf Forever is its own product. It's a digital product. It's backed by science and research. It's manifested in video and, and training tools and, and tips, and you can see all of that. And then you have a training tool that is, you know, as you refer to, a lot of people think about those types of things as gimmicky or yeah. kind of put you in weird, awkward, exaggerated positions. Mm-hmm. And they kind of have a stereotype about them. Was there any kind of fear on your guys' end of, okay, we're going to create this product. Is there a fear that it's going to be not taken as seriously as we want it to be taken? Yeah, no, absolutely. It's interesting with our membership. So we're, we have about 7,000, um, you know, active members right now. And, and really with just our, our, our current product only being a year old, and we've grown tremendously over the past year. And um the loyalty that we have, the trust that, that our membership has in us is, is very important. And so when we provide um, direction on something, you know, it, it, it better be right. Um, and it, it better be research backed and it, it, and it, it really, this product has, um, has kind of brought everything that we've done and, and put it into a device. And, you know, it's not just a sales pitch. I mean, it, it, once you get this thing in your hands, I mean, you can feel the difference. And, and that's why we're so excited about it is because, you know, some of these other training aids and, you know, they're trying to slot you or, you know, they're, they feel like they're going to, you're going to break yourself if you're making a golf swing. Um, this is the dead opposite of that. It, it's to free your golf swing up. And so that's why we're calling it, you know, the first complete training aid that's out there. And um, so, no, I, absolutely. We, we thought about that from moment one, but um, we really are, we, you know, very proud of the product that we've created and, and excited to see where this takes us. And wh- where do you go from here? Do you kind of treat the training tool and the, the program as part and parcel? Is that, is that the success story of kind of bridging the two together? Is it working with kind of fit other fitness professionals who adopt the, the training tool as part of their recommended regimen for golfers? How, how does the path forward look? Yeah, um, you know, we're, we're definitely exploring a few different areas. And, and as we've um, soft launched this, which we're doing this fall, and then after the new year, and we'll be at the PGA show uh, exhibiting, um, which for our official launch in January, but I, I've really been having and, and we our team has been having a lot of conversations with PGA golf professionals, you know, um, club pros, instructors, um, you know, so, some of these amateur golf tours out there. And and trying to get a pulse and a beat on um, the feedback and, and listen, you know, we, we want to listen and see, okay, you know, if I'm an instructor, how can I use this in a lesson? Um, there, there are a lot of components that um, from a training and an exercise standpoint, uh, this product and the, the device certainly is very effective, but we kind of feel like the sky's the limit from um, an instructional or golf swing position standpoint um because if you can imagine the cord and i'll go ahead and get over here and kind of demonstrate again but you know even if i were to just take this down my foot line here take it like a golf grip you know try to get into an impact position there's no way i could come over the top and and there's things like that that 
you know, this was not certainly the the ultimate idea of the design and the use case for it. But as we produced it, we realized that, um, you know, the, the, again, the sky's the limit of how this can be used. I mean, you're, you're developing feels now for your golf swing and that supersedes right. any, any fitness component. And so, um, yeah, the, the, we're excited to see where it is. Well, John, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us about everything Golf Forever related. Congratulations on the launch, the success, much more. Uh, wished upon you and, and everyone at, at Golf Forever. Thanks so much for doing this. Thank you, Ryan. Appreciate the time.